Oh boy, we sure needed a good night's rest. I don't think I could have walked another inch. Bobby, wake up. We need to get going. You go ahead without me, Kimba. I promise I'll catch up. No, it's safer if we stay together. And we need to reach the mountain before dark. That one? Yes. Mount Kilimanjaro. I'm sure we'll find Simba there. I hope so. We've been trying to catch up for so long now. I never thought I'd miss our big brother so much. I know we'll find him soon enough. <sighs> Do you think that could be Simba? Yes, I'm certain of it. He's here! Let's hurry! me, my faithful friends. I must go and claim my crown in the throne cavern at the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro. And I would like all of you to be there with me. Whoa, all the way up there? What do you say? Of we'll course you'll be there. <laughs> That's what we came for, isn't it? We'll always be by your side. Thank you, everyone. Did you really think we'd let you go without us? Now, what do you say we cut all this chit-chat and start climbing? Yeah. Are you kidding me? We have to go up this rock? My paws are already worn out. Excuse me, but did you say your real name was Winner or Winer? Oh, sure. Easy for you to criticize, Canary. All you have to do is float up the hill. Obviously, you have no idea how much energy flying requires. Almost as much as opera. Come on, you don't want to be the only one who didn't try. Just think of the wonderful view we'll have from the top. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Are you coming? <sighs> you see anyone? No, but this is where the roars came from. Let's keep looking. Oh? Huh? <laughs> Hi there, hyena. <laughs> Please don't attack me. Go! <laughs> I'm innocent. Uh -huh. I'm one of those rare pacifist hyenas. I was only following orders. I loathe violence. Well, so do we, and we have no intention of attacking anyone. It was my master. I was powerless against him. I had to go along. All of these battles and traps and tricks were his bad ideas. <laughs> He's in a bad way. <laughs> Why don't you explain your situation to us, and maybe my sister and I can help? <laughs> we're looking for our older brother, Simba. Maybe you've heard of him? De yes. Do you know where he is? We've been trying to catch up to him for months. <laughs> sort of. Hold on a minute. I'm starting to recognize Me your Me too, and that voice. smell. Your I should have known we'd find you on Simba's trail. Curdy? Who's that? I don't know any Curdy. What kind of name is that? <laughs> There's been a mistake. Mm, I'm positive it's you. You know, we hyenas all look alike. My name is Curdle, like curdled milk. 
honest. Oh, please, Curdy, don't try your ridiculous tricks on us. We know it's you, and wherever you are, Shere Khan can't be far behind. I don't know what you're talking about. And who's this Shere Khan? I never heard of that cat. Stop lying to us, Curdy. You're only making things worse. Shere Khan is your master, and you do his dirty work. And you're going to pay for it. No, please, it was all Shere Khan's idea, even though I don't know him at all. You're as pathetic as ever. <laughs> Would you mind letting me go now? If I don't get home, my wife is going to have my head. I'm supposed to be catching her uh, lunch. Please, I'm not that curdy fella. We'll let you go on one condition. You take us to where Simba is. No, I'm sorry. It's impossible. You don't have any choice if you want to Please. stay in one piece. <laughs> Are you going to help us or not? If I show myself around there, I'm through. Just like Shere Khan. Don't be silly. Our brother is good and fair. He won't hurt you. Wait. What was that you were saying about Shere Khan? He and Simba had a big fight, and now he's buried under a big pile of rocks. Huh? The fighting is over. Yes, my poor master is gone forever. <laughs> well. <laughs> <sighs> and now Simba can reclaim the throne that was your ancestors. Can you believe it? Simba's finally king. Just like he said he'd be. Yes, in spite of what we went through with our dirty tricks. Ladies, please, can't we leave the past behind us? Only if you get yes, us to Simba. Right this way, princesses. <laughs> I think it's this way. I hope. If you don't stop that awful humming, I'm going to get mad. <laughs> What on earth are you doing with that goop on your head? I was spying on Simba when his friends pelted me with old bananas and it... Oh! No! <laughs> Get that pipsqueak! Yes, Master, right away. Don't tell me you're actually crying over that Shere Khan. You should be glad that tiger is gone. The way he treated you, Curdy, you're better off without him. I know, but everyone else hates me. Well, they have a right to after what you've done, but Simba himself knows how hard it was to stand up to Shere Khan. He might forgive you. I sure hope so. <laughs> Can you fly with your eyes closed? I don't know. Let's take a short break here. Good. <sighs> Can't you transport us to the top with your magic metal exit? I would have done it by now. <laughs> All I know is if I don't keep moving, I'm gonna turn into a rat sickle. It's freezing up here. You just don't have enough insulation, then. It's your fur that's keeping me warm, you know. Well, oh, who would have ever thought that you could be freezing in Africa? <laughs> Oh, I know. They should have warned us. And we're not at the top yet. Oh. Come on, it isn't that bad. Maybe not if you're a mountain goat or a bird with a warm-down coat to keep you from freezing. But you want to help Simba, don't you? Of course we do. We wouldn't dream of letting him claim his crown all alone. It's too cold to stay still up here. Let's keep moving on up toward the summit. Why in the world would they keep the crown so far away? Come on, maybe we can hitch a ride. We're getting close. Do you think so? Everyone's getting tired. If you want, I'll sing a pep song. Oh, no way, I've suffered enough. Well, then get a move on, whiner. I'm not whining, I always talk like this, and my ball's starting to freeze. I can carry it for you. So you can throw it over the cliff, huh? Good idea. I hadn't thought of that.
Hello, who are you? I salute you, Majesty, and bid you a warm welcome. I salute you, Simba, the King of Kings, return to us at last. Oh. Who are you? The guardians of the throne, sir. And the Ice Cavern. We've seen you grow to be a brave and wise leader. And we are proud to be able to present the crown to you, finally. And peace has returned to the kingdom with you. I wish they would stop talking and let us in the cave already. Watch what you're saying, they're magicians. We are honored to serve you as we have your ancestors. All this chit-chat's keeping me frostbite. Now try to be a little more patient, guys. They're just following royal protocol. If you'll come with us, Majesty. Of course. But what about my friends? It's your decision who enters the cavern, sir. Come on, follow us. Maybe the cavern has a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Powers vested in us by the Council of Ancestors and the dynasty they created, we now pronounce you His Majesty Simba, the King of Kings. May wisdom guide you always. Ancestors have come to salute you and wish you well. <gasps> oh, Father! Simba, my son, I'm proud of you. You are truly worthy of wearing the crown. Oh, Dad! I have so much to tell you. Be strong. Don't go! Oh. It's all right, Simba. Now we have a surprise for you. <sighs> what a lovely day! Yay! 
Sorry to wake you so early, Augustine. Is something wrong? Don't you hear us out there? Just listen carefully, my friend. There's a surprise for you. Woohoo! Oh, hi, Professor! Hi! Oh, have they come back? No, Augustine. We're inside the ice cavern at Mount Kilimanjaro. I've just been crowned king. Simba, hello. Augustine, this is the moment you've awaited for so very, very long. We'd have never made it this far without everything you taught us, Augustine. And what's more, we'll never have to worry about Shere Khan again. Oh, Simba, you don't know how relieved we are. I just wish I could see you and all the others. I'm sure you've changed a lot. We'll tell everyone in the forest that you're now king. Augustine, my name isn't Toy anymore. It's Winner. Really? Well, I'd say it suits you very well. <laughs> you must all be glad that the journey's over. Mm-hmm. After everything Shere Khan did to keep you away from them. Yes, but as usual, our teamwork paid off. And our leader can't be beaten. He really learned a lot from you. And we have managed to keep everyone healthy. And our friend Flash stayed with us through it all. Augustine, I can't wait for you to meet him. This dinosaur could teach even you a few things. I got a magic medal from the Egyptians. And I've learned a dozen new songs to sing for you. Excel, is it true that you've used your medal to get special cheese? Only a couple of times when morale was low. Simba, how are Bobby and Kimba liking it there? Don't you remember? My sister stayed with you. The professor must have had another one of those lab accidents. Now, Winner, none of that. Show some respect. If your name's going to be Winner, act like one. Now, why don't you let Bobby and Kimba say hello? They're not here, Augustine. They stayed behind when I set out. Maybe they didn't leave with you, but they started after you. A few hours later, they should have caught up. One thing is certain, they're not here. I'll organize a search party. Arbor, see what your tree friends can tell you. It could take a while, but I'll try. I'm worried about them. Don't worry, Simba. I'm sure your sisters are going to find us. I know you're probably right, but I won't rest until I find them. So what are we waiting for? Let's organize that search party and head out! The sooner the better! It's starting to get dark. We better go. Soon. Thank you all for your help. Majesty, if ever there's anything you need, let us know. I appreciate that, and thank you for the wonderful welcome you've given us. It's our privilege to serve such a great leader, Majesty. I can see your father's greatness in you. Thank you. I am honored. Goodbye, Goodbye Majesty. Majesty. Take care. What are you doing here? I... I thought you'd gone back home. Home is wherever there's a cause to defend, sir. But right now, we don't have one. We're marching aimlessly and discipline starting to suffer. What do you have to report, sir? Oh, uh, not too much. I'm just escorting these ladies. They're Simba's younger sisters, and they've been looking for him for months. That's so. You'll uh, need an escort platoon. We're it. I don't know. They might not like it. Allow me to present ourselves. I'm the general to these commandos. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Seven! It would be our honor if you would accept the wild boar commandos as yours. Of course, and I'm sure our brother will be grateful to you as well. We are at your disposal, ladies. I hope it's not another one of his traps. Commandos, our mission is to escort the princesses safely to King Simba's side. You read me? There we will swear allegiance to his cause and serve the King of Kings. And we will do so faithfully until a better cause comes along. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir! Two and four and six and eight. King Simba's really great. Ten and twelve, fourteen, sixteen. We can't stop from rhyming. Eighteen and twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. No one beats a commando more. Company, halt! 
Falcon, I need you. Simba, Curdy, and two lions are coming. And they're surrounded by wild boars. Could those lions be your two sisters? It's possible, Canary, but why would they be coming with that scoundrel, Curdy? I'll go down there and see what I can find out. If it is Curdy, I want to know. they be doing with him? I don't believe it! Curdy's taking them prisoner! Wait, Winner, <coughs> they'd never submit to him. <coughs> Look, it's Toy! Oh, hello! <coughs> Toy, what are you doing? Leave him alone! I'm taking care of this flea bag, don't you worry! No one takes Simba's sisters prisoner! Do you really think we'd let him take us prisoner? He let us here, free and all. He and the commandos made sure we got here as fast as possible. We couldn't have been treated any better. <laughs> By the way, my name isn't Toy anymore. If you're not Toy, who are you? Winner! I'm all grown up! I'm so glad to see you! <laughs> <laughs> Simba and Bobby have finally found their brother again. Simba and his friends couldn't be happier. But what's going to happen to Curdy? Find out in our next episode of Simba's Wonderful Adventures. Oh.